Hi everybody, my name is John Thompson. I'd like to welcome you to my final project for MSET at Ramapo College. It's called Surviving on Your Own. We're going to be teaching six useful lessons. Uh, I start off with an introduction. I give a video explaining what the site is, a statement, a goal, a question for the course, questions to discuss to basically get the students to think and talk about the topic before we dive into it. Uh, I had to modify the course for the coronavirus outbreak as well, and I do an introduction. I talk next about our tasks. Basically, the tasks are going to be very general tasks. They're going to basically talk about what you're going to be doing. Uh, each lesson is going to include a test at the end of it, with exception for the brainy bits of the process. The process is basically going to be a bunch of links that the students are going to click on in order. Brainy bits. Here I have the materials on the left, uh, articles to review, and this is pretty much going to be the standard setup for all my pages. Uh, I have the activities on the right here. Uh, I have the activity with a partner, and I also have uh, the individual activities that they do. Get them to read and understand that what goes on internally uh, will influence the external behavior. I have here a personal finance page. Again, set up in a similar way. We do a warm-up activity, much like we did for the Brainy Bits and the course itself, to try to get them to think uh, about what they're going to learn. Uh, we have an introduction to our finances and the importance of that. I go right then into a check. They're going to have to manage a checkbook as part of this project. So uh, this is going to be very important for them. that They have worksheets, too, that they complete uh, in pages of this project here and uh, we talk basically about parts of the check what it is history of the check a checkbook um, why it's important the check clearing process crimes and debits next thing we talk about is creating a budget and this is going to be very important because they're going to have to learn how to manage money again with the same type of activities uh, we're going to have them budget. They're going to be using the spreadsheet that they created for the checkbook. And uh, it'll give them a way to track their money. Now, they're going to be assigned incomes. And these incomes basically are going to be, uh, are going to be basically used to help them pay bills that they're going to be assigned throughout the semester. Next, we talk about insurance. Insurance is important because uh, they're going to have to have medical insurance and auto insurance. And I talk about the different types on this page, including uh, auto insurance. Uh, I go right into credit cards and their importance, uh, what happens if you misuse them. Uh, I talk about the parts of the credit cards, mortgages, terms, student loans, and we talk about debt and finally bankruptcy. I talk about taxes and why they're important and why you have to pay them, how to file a 1040. I talk next about renting an apartment, which is important. They're going to be doing this when they move out, uh, basically uh, looking into uh, what they have to do, uh, what goes into setting up an apartment, what types of options that they have. Finally, when they get more established, we're going to talk about condominiums, townhouses, and homes and essentially what they're going to have to basically do in order to get a mortgage on a house. And lastly, we talk about construction, what it involves, the building codes, the costs, uh, charts basically uh, talking about the, about the breakdowns uh, of costs, uh, zoning and codes again, uh, types of walls, basically information pertaining to construction. Our next lesson, we're going to talk about cooking for ourselves, basically to encourage self-sufficiency in the students. We talk next about a major social issue, which is food waste. And the students basically will have to basically read and do activities. Uh, we talk next about nutrition and how important it is to their health. Grocery shopping, again, sticking to the budget and uh, basically purchasing food food safety, where they learn about how to handle the food and cook it properly so they don't get sick, units of measure in order to basically put a right amount of an ingredient in a recipe and also stretch out the ingredients, 
reading a recipe, what to do. Finally, we talk about cooking techniques. Now the next section we're going to talk about home maintenance and basically we again have a general activity to give them an idea of what uh, they think it might be. We talk next about cleaning and why it's important to have a clean house. We talk about things that uh, you can replace in a house, what you can't replace, and who, when it's time to call in a professional. How to do your laundry. They're going to be 250 miles away from home, so they're going to have to learn how to do laundry. They can't just go home on a weekend. Outdoor maintenance, what goes on outside, maintaining a yard, and basically repairs on the exterior of a building will help to uh, keep an interior of a building dry. Power and hand tools, this is another one. We talk about that, the safety. A lot of the projects that they're going to do are going to involve tools, so they're going to need to learn safety. They're going to need to learn fire prevention. Uh, storing chemicals properly, etc. Uh, basically, hazards in the house that they're going to pick up on and basically prevent, uh, which can help reduce the risk of a fire. I have videos in this. Also, first aid, giving help to somebody, which is another thing that's important. Uh, they're going to learn the value of a human life. And then finally, we're going to go on to lesson four. We're going to talk about cars and basically the engines and what a car is in the first part of this lesson. We're going to talk next about the documents that you need to drive a car legally in New Jersey. Then we're going to talk about the purchasing options, lease, loan, used, uh, financing, and what are the advantages and disadvantages of them. We're going to talk next about oil, how important that is to the life of an engine. We're going to talk next about the tune-up, the tires, and the brakes, how these affect safety, performance, and reliability of your car, and the ride quality. And we're also going to talk about deferred maintenance, what happens when you put these repairs off and it becomes time to get a new vehicle. The next we're going to, thing we're going to talk about is internet safety and how we behave online. This is extremely important. Uh, we're trying to get into the beginning principles of digital citizenship, which is my next page. And this we talk about what digital citizenship is and why it's important and how to behave online. We then talk about social media and how what you post online can affect you for the rest of your life. Uh, it's there forever and it can affect your employment and your future. We talk next about cyberbullying, the laws against it, uh, people who have unfortunately passed away. And of course, we, again, we have activities as well on this as we do on each of the pages. <clears throat> and then we talk next about online data and security breaches. This is important because we talk about things like the Facebook breach and there's videos to watch and uh, how basically hackers uh, will breach uh, and try to steal your data from the computer. We talk about identity theft prevention, which is also important. That's another way uh, thing to talk about and how they get the information. And then we talk next about workplace behavior, what's expected of you at work. Uh, we're going to go right into writing a resume and they're going to do a mock interview with interviewing skills and they're going to learn basically the skills, getting ready, what to wear, the actual interview itself and what to look out for on the interview. We're going to talk about location and commute, which is also important. They're going to basically get the job, but is the trip to work worth it? And so that's something I want to get them to think about. Attendance, attitude, and performance, extremely important. Uh, this is another topic that we're going to talk about. And uh, I have time management as another one. Uh, which basically they're going to have to learn when meeting deadlines and working with other people. And lastly, the paycheck and benefits. Uh, can they afford to have uh, some expenses put off, uh, especially if they're starting out because it's going to be tough? And I have a glossary of terms, an assessment page, a conclusion page, my teacher's page, which covers uh, all the uh, aspects of the project. And I'm going to scroll down here. And I have a credits page, which is divided into uh, seven units.